Hello Internet and welcome to another video on your favorite noodle based gaming and commentary channel. Today we're going to take a look at Shardbound. It's a brand new game that should be coming to Steam shortly. I do have one key to give away so you two can join in the pre-alpha stuff. It's actually a lot of fun. So as you can see up in these areas there's these two shards that are being run by different Twitch streamers. So if we click on one of them it'll take us to their shard. We can see the two streamers, whoever those people are. You can see everybody who's in the game right now. It is in pre-alpha, so there are some weird pre-alpha things going on, but I think it actually looks pretty good right now. So we're going to go back to my little home base here. And here you can see like my profile, my household. I can this is like the um, deck building area, training grounds where you can play against AI and then you can join um, the shardfall, your own little shardfall. So, let's go check that out. So yeah, uh, this game has full Twitch, in Twitch integration, where there's little objectives that you can actually play with the Twitch streamers and interact with them. It's actually kind of cool. And when the game fully releases on Steam, which should be shortly, um, these little vaults in the middle, once they're fully powered, which you power them by completing objectives, it will unlock and give you some sort of reward. Right now, all that happens when you unlock it is it just plays a little message that says, yeah, you've unlocked it, and the awards will come when we join Steam. So, hopefully that's soon. So yeah, let's get right into a game. Um, this is all pre-alpha. I'm just using one of the basic starter decks. A lot of it is placeholder art. Don't blame me when you're all cut and bruised. Let us see whose tactics are superior. This will be fun. So at the beginning of the round you get to choose where they keep your replace cards. It's kind of familiar. It seems kind of like Hearthstone. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that. So yeah, this game is pretty much like a mix of Hearthstone, Magic the Gathering, and Warhammer 40k, mm -hmm. but at the same time it's different than all of those. Every turn you get a new mana crystal, but you do have your little hero, and he can move and attack. So I don't have a card I'm going to play, I'm just going to move over there in my turn. A lot of the art is just placeholder art right now. I'm here. So I'm gonna play this guy. He's a flying character. So when they come in, they're asleep. They can't attack or move. But next turn, I'll be able to move him wherever I want. He can move to any location on the battlefield. So I'm gonna move him back over here just so he's not within range. I don't want to take any more damage than I have to. And today actually a new patch just came out and they, they tweaked a few of the gameplay elements. So the characters now have 20 health instead of 25. We're going to play the Rank Breaker who has a special ability, has plus two attack when there are no allies standing next to it. So she's a 6-5 now. Side by side. I'm going to attack the quartermaster. And my turn. It is a really beautiful game um, so far, even though it is pre-alpha. And I have a feeling a lot of this art will be updated. Uh, this is one of the two maps available. And for some reason right here, it says it's running at 62 frames a second. So, I'm not sure why, but it's super stable at 62. This is not looking good for me. <laughs> oh, okay, so they swapped. I can deep strike in which just means I can place 
Deep Strike means I can place the, the uh, character anywhere on the battlefield at any time. Clear, so I'm going to try to move her in. Move him out. Don't want to take any more damage than I have to right now. This game is currently on Kickstarter. Um, if you, I think the minimum donation amount is ten dollars, and you get a key for the game. It goes all the way up. I think the top donation amount is like ten thousand dollars or something. But oh, that's that's annoying. That's a blight spore seedling. At the end of each turn, create three blight spore tiles next to this unit. So basically, this is just going to keep creating these toxic tiles throughout the entire map, which is not fun. We're going to play another Rank Breaker and try to kill that thing. Break their lines. Light's blessings. Side by side. Keep clear, people. See, the Kickstarter campaign is going on right now. It, it was completely funded. They were asking for $50,000. It got well over $50,000 within the first day. I think it's up to almost 88000 at the time I'm making this video. Um, yeah, they've come out with a couple stretch goals. It's all available on Kickstarter. I'll link everything down in the description. Um, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, as you can tell, because I have, like, five subscribers, I think. <laughs> um... But yeah, I just thought they were making a really cool game, and I'd like to kind of put this out there and get more interest in the game in general, because it's a lot of fun. I'm here. So he just played a card with poison. After this unit deals damage to a minion, destroy that minion. So I might be screwed because I'm I'm trapped. My character is trapped right here. Well, maybe not. Surprise. Maybe I'm trapped. I think I did that wrong. Clear, people. You're dead. Be strong. I'm gonna move my hero back here. Keep clear, people. Move her right here. Keep clear, people. Take out this thing. You're dead. Which should get rid of all this green tiles. Yes, it did. Approaches. Move him up there. And my turn. From what I've been able to tell, this game runs very well on almost anything. It doesn't take a lot of um, processing power or hardware power to look good. And I'm about to lose. I'm down to 4 health. <laughs> so your hero acts like your, your face in Hearthstone. So all they have to do is get you down to 0 and then you lose. It doesn't matter how many characters you have left on the board. So I... I am not, I don't think I'm going to come out of this alive. This is not it. This is not going to end well for me. I can do 10 damage, 12 damage to him. I gotcha. Might be able to live. I gotcha. yeah. Just going to run away. <laughs> I think that might be the best option right now. Do six damage to him. Close quarters. Waiting. Keep clear, people. This is gonna bring her stats Close down a little bit, but I'm just gonna move him Dawn next turn. Approaches. Move him up there. Waiting. Move that character over there. And there are ranged characters, and the ranged kind of the ranged characters work very interestingly like they they operate on the line of sight basis that's why all these obstacles are here in different terrain heights so 
for a ranged character to hit, it has to be within line of sight. Line of sight means if I had a ranged character here, they could strike him. But if he had a ranged character, like, your friendly characters don't block your friendly characters, but enemy characters will block friendly characters. It's an interesting concept. Okay, so he's just tunneled and moved his own character over here. Which is interesting. So I think I'm going to play a couple of these spell cards next turn, take this out. Also going to play the 5-2 flying, so first I'm going to do this, so that way I can take that character out. That has poison, which is kind of a problem, because it can take this out no problem. So I'm going to move her back that way. Move him over here. Put my flying character down. Be strong. Okay. Get him down to four health. Move this character back. He's probably just gonna tunnel away again. He probably has another card that can do that. So yeah, the poison effect will kill that. Which is unfortunate. I'm here. This has a death hell effect. Speak on that. So it will summon a random seedling in its place wherever it dies, which could be a problem. But I think I win. Yeah, he's down to two health. So we side are just going side. to take him out. That proves it. I'm the and there we go. Victory. So if we return to the overworld and go back to our little shard, we'll see that we're at 14% because we've completed win, win games with any army, excessive force, I'll finish you myself, artifactor, small arms. So it's, it's pretty interesting. And again, this, fit, this game is available on Kickstarter right now. It should be coming to Steam after the Kickstarter campaign is over. I want to thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. If you'd like a chance to win the key for this game, all you have to do is leave a comment down below, and I will be choosing one at random. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day.